So now we have the two pieces, they're already built. And if you notice, I did not put the trunk on this side because the little doll has to fit there. And if we put the drawer, then it won't fit. So, and I have not glued this yet because I need to paint, paint it first. But before I actually start painting, it's a lot easier to cut the inserts that will go here with the fabric. So what I do is I start tracing. I trace it like this. And I cut it. And then what we do, if you notice, see it won't fit. So basically you just keep cutting until you get it to fit just right. I'm not much of a ruler person. If you like the ruler, that's fine. Use a ruler. That's not my style. I just like to do things quickly and... Okay, for the sake of the video, so that we don't take too much time, I've already cut two. See, this one. And then this one here has to be short. You have to cut a bit shorter only because um, of the drawer. So let's put this aside and I'll show you what to do. Okay, let's, we'll put this aside. Now that we have the templates cut, the next step is the painting. So I will go ahead and remove the drawer. So now we'll start painting. As a base coat, when you're doing crackle paint, you always need the base coat first. I'm using the baby pink that I showed you before, and we're going to paint all the sides. We'll paint the inside of the trunk. We'll paint it really quick. And then once this is painted, we'll put it aside so it can dry. So, see I paint the inside. Don't, don't worry too much about here. Um, don't worry too much about this here because uh, I'm going to put a fabric. In reality, I didn't really need to paint it, but it's okay. And don't forget to paint the back. You also have to paint the back. Okay, so there. Now that it's painted, I'm going to go ahead and set it aside so that it can dry completely before we actually add, apply the crackle medium. Okay, now the trunk and the drawer, they're drying, the sides are drying. While they're drying, we can start with making the inserts. So I have two index cards. Just lay your fabric the right side down, this way. And here's my blue syringe. So I just put a little bit, are you? I just put a little bit of glue and I just go ahead and, oops, I spread it. don't need that much glue and set it down then I have my other piece I tend to be really messy with glue so usually when I'm working I always have wipes with me only because I'm so messy and I set it like that And once, then I go ahead and cut. And once I cut, 
go ahead and put glue on the edges. corners first. Everyone has their own way of doing this. This is just my way. And come on glue. The glue does not want to come out. I have too much air in my syringe. That's the problem. Okay. So then do that. Let's do this side. And there we go. Very simple. Like that. You see? And that's how it will look. And Oops, long trunk. Oh, I forgot it's drying. <laughs> okay, so there goes my first insert. Then I will do the next one the same way. The pieces are dry and you have to wait till they're completely dry. So there, I painted. I know I didn't really paint too much here. It's fine because if you remember the insert will go here. These are the drawers. I painted the drawers. And now we'll, this is the fun part. Now we will go ahead and add the crackle medium. And I will first do it in the back. And just do it in parts. Now if you're using the delta crackle medium, You put a thick coat and you wait for it to get tacky. But if you're using the folk art, then you have to wait for it to get completely dry. And there. Just put a thick coat. Like that. This is the top of the drawer, the shelf. Oops. And then right here, I will put some in the drawer. And we will set it aside and I will wait until it gets tacky. Now the crackle medium that I applied is, it's a bit tacky, so I will go ahead now and take my acrylic ivory paint and I will paint and you will notice that it will start crackling and this is a lot of fun, I love doing this. And what will happen eventually, let's see if you can, if it's happening, it'll start cracking and it's starting to happen. Can you see it on the video? Let me try to bring it a bit closer. Can you see it? Okay, so there. If you look carefully, I don't know if you can see it with the lighting. I really tried to work hard on the lighting because I really wanted you all to see the cracks as it appears. And there it goes. It's starting to appear. You see that?
and we're getting more and more cracks. Okay, then let me grab the other piece, the other side of the trunk, and again I will paint with the acrylic paint, and you can use any type of paint, you can use any color you want, um, a nice sage green will look nice.